Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento 2 Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to add products to your Magento 2 homepage. Now, Dave, you've not seen this done before, have you? No, I've not seen this yet. OK, so just to give you a quick heads up. When you first install Magento 2, your homepage looks really desolate. In fact, let's jump straight across to the desktop and I will show you what it looks like. And this is probably the reason why you found this video tutorial as well. So let's jump across to the desktop. We'll catch up there with you in a few seconds time. So Dave, let's quickly jump across to our customer view. And if we take a look at our Magento website, this is what we get out of the box. Homepage, and it just says CMS homepage content goes here, which really isn't great. We want to get some products on that homepage. Now, if you can manage a couple of drop down boxes and then press and save, you can do this. It's really simple to do. So let's jump back to our Magento admin area. Now the section which we want to go to is called content and that's on the left hand menu bar. Now underneath the elements section, you'll want to click on pages. Now we are just using a fresh install of Magento 2, but regardless on your Magento install, your homepage has the URL key of home. So Dave, let's go and edit this page. And by the way, you don't want to click on this row. If you click on that row, then you can go and edit the page itself. Instead, you want to click on select on the right hand side and then click on edit. And we're now able to edit our home page. Now we're not going to go into all the details on the home page and how important the URL key is or the page title. We have a separate video tutorial on that and how to create other content or CMS pages within your Magento website. We're just going to focus on getting products added to our home page. Now on the left hand side, if you click on content, now Dave, there's that text. Your CMS homepage content goes here. So we're going to quickly replace that with welcome to our Magento 2 website. Obviously, you would be more creative than that. Now, we've just been in hit return. Now, Dave, there is a little special button in here which makes it super easy for us to add products. And I'm just going to highlight this on the screen for you, which is this little button just here where it says insert widget. If you click on that button, then we're able to add products to our homepage using a Magento widget. So where it says widget type, we're going to drop that down and then we're going to choose catalog product list. So let's choose that option. Now, Dave, the title, I'm going to call this featured products. You can elect to have page control on there and that's a yes or no option. In fact, Dave, I tell you what, why don't we have two different types? OK, let's go with the basic one first. Let's go and change that to no and we're going to set that to 10 products. So with this widget, we've only got one template available for the cash lifetime. I would personally suggest that you leave that blank. Also, with Magento, you are able to trim down the products which appear on your homepage using any of your product attributes. However, for this example and for you just to get started with these, and by the way, you can come back and edit these in a moment. We'll show you how to do that when we add the second widget in, is that for conditions, we suggest just leaving those blank. Then click on insert widget on the right hand side. And Dave, can we see we've got this little icon and it says products next to it? Yep, I can see that. That's the widget which we've just been and added. In our case, we're going to choose save and continue edit because we want to come back to this page and edit it in a few moments. Now, if we go back to our Magento homepage and refresh that page, then, oh, actually, it's come straight through. Now, if that didn't display straight away for you, you'll want to come into system, then go into cache management. So I'm just going to open that up in a separate tab and then click on select all and then submit. And then that will update the front end of your Magento website. So just cover that extra step. So Dave, we've got 10 products showing on our homepage. Yeah. Happy days. Now that's quite a few. Let's trim that down to five, for example. So to edit that widget is very simple. Let's go back to our homepage, double click on that icon. And Dave, we've got that menu up again. So this time I'm gonna go and change it to five, press insert widget, save and continue edit. Let's go back to our home page and hit refresh. Ah, Dave, it didn't update this time. So I'm going to quickly go down to system, open up cache management in a separate tab, 
choose select tool and submit wait for that to update brilliant let's go back to our home page and hit reload haha <laughs> five there we go so i feel kind of glad that i did mention that beforehand just in case you had the same on your magento website as well so we've got one block in here with just five products let's go and add another widget and more products to our home page so where we've got welcome to our magento website i'm going to click on the end of there and press return so we're on a new line let's go and add another widget we're going to drop this down and choose products list again and by the way there are different widget types and i would encourage you to go and try out some of the other options as well now i'm going to call these special offers i'm going to change this display control to yes and can you see it says number of products per page five and then the number of products to display is 10. i'm actually going to change that to 15. now i am just going to point out these options down here for conditions the condition section allows you to restrict which products show on your home page so for example you can drop this down and dave we're after category so we're going to choose category and then the category is and then dot 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 we click on the dot 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 and a little tip for you with categories if you click on the little blue icon the chooser icon that will give you the option to choose all the products which are maybe within the gear and the bags section or fats hey let's do fitness equipment and then click on the green tick and then click on insert widget and then press save and continue edit let's go back to our home page hit reload aha excellent now dave they do look very similar but we've got the extra pagination option down here we do so you see where we've got two three and we've also got the arrows available so that's what those extra options did so if we go back and edit the widget so just click on the products one you see that you've got display page control that's what the page control did it added the arrows and also the links so the customers and they can go through the different pages does that make sense yeah it does i really like the flexibility that these widgets seem to add to your home page options it's really cool indeed so that's how you can get products on your home page really really simple by using widgets and both myself and dave like we said go and try out some of the other widgets don't just get restricted down or just think that you can just put products on your home page there are many other options which you've got available underneath the widget type option at the top so maybe you want to include a cms page link so maybe you've got frequently asked questions section maybe you want to link into another section or put in a static block of text you can do that using the different widget types anyway the other widget types that's a topic for a separate tutorial we hope that you've been able to get products onto your home page and of course don't panic if they don't appear straight away just go into cache management and clear out your caches so both myself and dave hope that you found this video tutorial useful and on that note from myself matt and from me dave cheerios so from myself matt and me dave we hope that you found this video tutorial helpful if you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd, and we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge how to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.